Right, so there we go, we've done jabbing, we've got a new pearl. There's actually one more thing we can do though. If we... Well, we're going the right... Well, the, the wrong direction, sorry. If we can go to the right hand side of outset, just above headstone and the next one to the right, I believe there's another thing we can quickly do before we put these stones in place. Because it's given us three markers, like in the shape of a triangle, like around about the middle of the ocean. And that's where we need to go. But, like I said, we can do this first, if I can find it. There's a sub. I got a feeling we have done that one. Oh, I'm gonna have to check. This is probably the bottle one. If it's the bottle one, I, c oh, I shouldn't be going back in. But ugh. no, this is new. This is new, isn't that? Oh dear! What? What? Okay, I, I thought this was going to be the place where I got the bottle, but apparently not. There's loads of rats throwing bombs everywhere. What the fuck is... What's going on? Money. Money's going on. Get out of here. Stop it. Can I throw boomerang? Oh, you can. I can kill him with the... Is that killing him? Yeah, it is. Ideal. I don't know why these guys are doing this. He was doing. Well, what a way to begin, eh? Better be something good for all that. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, the past couple of days I've been playing so much Pokemon. And um, I don't know if anyone's got to the end game, but there's a part where you need friends on your friend list for it to be like, better. If that makes sense. So I've gone on to like so many communities just adding people and I think I'm nearly like maxed out on the friend count now. It's ridiculous. Such a good game though. Honestly, such a good game. I know I said about this last time, but oh so good. And I don't feel very good today. I've got a bit of a blocked face. Right, so where where are we going now? We need to um Yeah, keep going to the east. We got this fish, we don't need the fish. This was headstone where we got that seagull to help us get some in. But we're talking about seagulls, we need to keep looking around for seagulls and hopefully we can spot another one of those big octos because that's what we're looking out for before we go do anything else. I've got a feeling it's behind this reef, this one here that we can see. Ah uh, yeah, see all those seagulls? All the seagulls in the world are flocking to one place, so you know what that means. Oh dear! Hopefully this one ain't got loads of eyes. Oh, he's got, he's got a few. He's, you're not hard at all. In fact, I think we've done one of the hardest ones, like, by accident. So yeah, just boomerang it. Like I say, he's got less eyes than ever, so this shouldn't be a problem. Unless he reels you in faster. Alright, there we go, no done. One more eye, I think. That was easy. Easy peasy. And this one actually gives you one of the best prizes of them all. Which is quite surprising. I suppose they need to make it a little bit easy. Because this could be the first one you encounter. And look at that! There was a fairy hidden inside. Oh, waker of the winds! Thanks to you, I've been freed from the beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. Your magic power has been increased. You can now, you now have twice as much as you did before. And if you look in the top left, it's doubled. It's very good. We need this for a majority of things. But we don't actually need it straight away, but we need it, need it a bit later. So I'm probably going to stop off, give this fish some bait, and then I'll cut back. Right, 
that, that was pretty funny. That fish just told me all about the fact that there's a fairy nearby and a big octo. But we've done that. we just done it. So we're actually filling in the map a little bit more. I'll be doing a lot of it off screen because there's only so many times you can see a fish. And like I say, I can reread any of the stuff he says to me at any point. So it's not like we're missing out on it. We've got some stuff there. I don't think we'd best stop off there. The sea's getting darker again. It's not very nice. But we're nearly at our first destination. One of three. And there's another fairy thing there. I think that's one we've already got. Well, I'm pretty sure it is, actually. We're nearly, nearly at this square. Oh, I can see it. Little tiny island. Oh, and there's loads of... What the hell are these things? Right, we're nearly at the island if we can avoid these things. And I can see the fish ready for when I leave. This is a really tiny one. Tiny island. Can I get any more stuff out of the grass? I know I shouldn't be. What's this? It's a little doll thing. Wandering traveller who seeks the guidepost of the goddess. Place the pearl you hold here. Ah. I like how everything's just frozen in the background as well. You place the rose pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Two pearls remain. So that that's good, is it? Is that good? Is it good? Right, um, so I'll quickly find my boat. Where the hell's my boat? Did you guys steal my boat? What's down here? Right, I'll um, talk to the fish before I head to the next one. Where did the fish go? Oh, Jesus. Don't do that. Right, so this was Southern Triangle Island. So now it looks like we're heading to the eastern one, maybe? Because it's to the east. And there's actually another square we could... Well, I don't think we can actually fill it in yet. Because it's a little bit out of our way. But let's just keep going. The sun's rising. The sea is looking a lot nicer than it was the last couple of episodes. I actually wouldn't mind being here myself. Look at it. How could you not? So good. Right, we're coming up on it. What is this? Oh, I've actually got it on my map. It's Eastern Triangle Island. So I don't actually need a fish. we got those guys. Fishing. Oh, what's here? It's another statue. Who's this one for? I think this is for Faurora, isn't it? The green one. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Wandering Traveller. Yes, we, we heard from your other friend. You put that in there. One pearl remains. Okie doke. Cut these flowers. I really got to stop cutting everything. It's just I like to do it. Right, so I'm guessing the last one is Northern. Because that is the only one I've got left. And that is up this way. Jesus, we don't want to run into that. We do not run, want to run it. Why is he in the middle of where I need to go? You cheap bastard. What are you doing? Alright, so this is a bit of a pain. Because if, if we run into him, he's going to want to like throw us away. Oh, the island's here. Okay. Scratch that. We'll be alright. we got a nice view of the cyclone. But yeah, there, there, I don't believe there's anything you can actually do about it without a certain item. We can get a good look at it though. Might as well have a good look. Look at that. Pretty cool. What's this say? 
I said, what did that say? I didn't say attack. Oh, I was just telling you to get to Eastern. Right. Last one. all of them. And what did it do? Doesn't this seem familiar? Remember we saw someone in Tetra's room with the Triforce in the islands? So she she knows. She knows something she's not telling us. You definitely die from that, I think. God, that even happened, to be honest. He goes looking out, he's like, Link, you're dead! You little bastard, you're dead! Get in! This tower, which the powers of the gods have caused to appear, it is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of man. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Ryan, that is what you must obtain. It now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which you have led you to triumph over many hardships you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. Oh my Jesus, look at it. And this is called the Tower of the Gods, but we won't be doing this this episode, because this is actually technically a dungeon. But yeah, look at it, it's massive, it's magnificent, it's what they use to, to make sure people are worthy to come to come in and they're, they're, they're there. Yeah, no, I don't know what I'm on about. But yeah, it's used to test people's, test people's like courage and everything. Look at it, so magnificent. But yeah, next time, I think we'll be going into the Tower of the Gods and checking it out, and hopefully finding some new stuff and finding out some new things. So yeah, thank you for watching, and until next time. <laughs>